Yo, Bows, this is me to play the Brent and Boss Tricks of YouTube. This is going to be kind of a different episode. This is for Pokemon Legends Arceus. I have already completed the main game. However, as you may have already seen, there is some post-game material that seems very, very, very important. Spoiler, I'm fighting Volo and Giratina. And here's the thing, I have played many Pokemon games in my lifetime. And I even played Pokemon Ultra Moon and fought Necrozma, which was very difficult to say the least. I almost lost. But I just have to get this out there. I think fighting Volo in Pokemon Legends Arceus may be the hardest darn thing I have ever done outside of one of those main battle modes on one of the Pokemon games, like the Battle Frontier, which I've never completed, by the way. So, what you're about to see is a collection of just about every time I tried to fight Volo, and every time I lost. I can't even promise that I will even beat Volo in this video. Just know, this was so not fun to do. But, the show must go on, and I need to wrap this series up. So I can make room for other games, so enjoy! My slow descent into madness as I fight the secret boss, Volo, in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Okay, Yobos, this is we to play Brent and Brushworks of YouTube. Welcome to Legends Arceus. Where after getting trumped by Volo a few too many times... I'm ready. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Apparently one Pokemon's not level 91. I have updated moves, stats, well, mostly moves. I've updated moves for all of my Pokemon. I picked the ones that I think are going to do the best. And I add Cresselia. Because I felt like I had to. This is it. This is it. The time's now. Literally, if this doesn't work, there's only one other thing that I can do. And I can promise you it will snap the game in half. But I have went out of my way to get my strongest Pokemon to level 90. And then I did like a teeny tiny bit more by accident. But regardless, I am ready. Volo, here I come. Cynthia. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of went off on the tangent, but I hope Cynthia can forget her ancestry. In fact, now that I'm thinking about it, and finally now that it's on my mind, I'd like to say that this game played the opposite card of every single character. They turned Cyrus into a girl, and she's a good guy. They turned Cynthia into a guy, and she's the bad guy. Nothing is the same. Things are... Uh, relative to each other, but it feels like... It feels like opposite day. Where the good guys are bad, the bad guys are good. And I'm just trying to figure out if she's even who she says she is. I'm a girl, so... <laughs> this has gone perfectly well, in my case. Hand over the plates! Why the size of me? I guess! I must know what it is! Sorry, the mic was down again. If I can meet Arceus, I can control the world! Ah! Whatever. You're, you're going down, Volo. You're going down this time. I have trained for this. I am ready. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. 
I need the music to be higher. Oof. Sorry about that beep. I'm sure that went through the speakers. That's right. Play your Cynthia-inspired music. I'm ready. I think. Actually, I might have picked the wrong Pokemon from the start. Good start. Okay. Awesome. Uh, I don't think Infernal Paradise will work because Spirit Tomb is part Dark type. So, uh... Whoops. Oh good, it's turning dark already. It just started! Did I forget to save? Oh, I forgot to save! I don't want to hear anything from any of you. Not a single damn word. Yes, I said. Alright, that is it! You are getting the bluntest part of the sword. Oh my gosh, it missed. Take it down now. It's my fault I didn't check to see which Pokemon he was going to use first, but I am so over this, you have no idea. We're not even to the Giratina part, and I've already lost a Pokemon. This is not okay. None of this is okay. Alright, Power Gem. Rock-type move. Gosh, are you killing me? I'm gonna have a conniption! Kill it! Kill it now! I don't care if that uses two power points. It needs to be dead! Yeah, I have a feeling I'm gonna have to resort to the one thing everyone else has probably done. I'll explain it later, but right now I'm just on a complete tangent. Mercazine, go! How are we going to kill it? Oh, wait, I forgot. Oh, I forgot. Shoot, no one has that move now. Okay, well, Dragon Pulse. I would have picked it anyways. There we go. Guard chomp down in one hit. That's what we like to see. What's your next Pokemon? Your toy, of course it is. Ah! <laughs> I hate this so much! They're at level 90! I'm getting trumped by a level 68! Lucario, what is wrong? I'm so over this! You have no idea! That's not to say I can't get have fun trying to com to go against some powerful opponent, but jeez, I'm getting destroyed! I have worked so long trying to level up all these other Pokemon, and for what? For what? It feels like I'm not even getting anything done! It feels all like all those hours wasted leveling up every single Pokemon, and I don't mean with rare candy, was a waste of my time, and I'm not okay with that. I know what I have to do if I lose. I know what I have to do if I lose. But I don't want to resort to that. I want to show that I was able to pull this off. Despite the disadvantage I was put under, I want to show I was able to pull this off without any buffs. But guess what? That probably ain't happening to save my life. I'm doing worse. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm doing worse than my last battle against Volo! How? Oh good, we're at the final Pokemon. 
emergencies down. Terrific. Okay, well... Flare's down. Who, who am I using? Cresselia. Your part poison type. This should work. And I'm not even going to stutter when I say STRONG STYLE! Kill it! Kill it, Dan! Go away, Volo! Go away! <laughs> no, I won't! This is only the beginning, he says in my head. No, come fuzz! Giratina! <laughs> I'm just making up words. But the guy's crazy. He's a lunatic. It's hard to believe that at one point he was one of my more favorite characters, but it's always the silent ones, isn't it? It's always the silent... Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna watch part of this movie. Perfect. Fear the Great Giratina! And I do. I very much do. <sighs> okay. I feel like I need some of my Pokemon revived. I feel like that needs... I don't wanna look. I don't wanna look. Oh good, King has survived. King actually survived. Clap it up for King. Flare couldn't survive. The first attack. He was down before I could say oops. By the way, oops. Alright, well. You did what you could, King. Okay. I'm going with Fighter. I know this is a horrible, horrible matchup, but that's just so I can have some time to heal the Pokemon I need. By the way, I don't even have time to heal... Oh, wow, okay. Maybe I do. Look, I might get destroyed during the third act again, but if I don't even try with my strongest, most capable Pokemon, then what was the point of me recording this episode? I am going all in for the last time, trying to see if I can beat the odds here. Because there's one item one item I have barely ever used on any of my Pokemon that will make the complete difference between a defeat and a major victory. And suffice to say, I have not been using that item much. There were like maybe a few little times. Oh, I just remembered the nice thing I could have done. Wow, I wasn't prepared like I hoped I would be. I wasn't as prepared as I thought I would be. I taught Cresselia Shadow Ball, but I forgot to add it to her moves. So that one is on me. It's fine. It's fine. We learn from these mistakes. What's not fine is Volo trashing half of my Pokemon before I even got to Giratina. That was not fine. Also, Moonblast is effective, so let's just go with that. Alright, come on, stay strong, Cresselia, stay strong! We're going down, aren't you? Yep, yep, she's going down. You did your best. You did your best. That's what matters. Merkazine, go! And please, by all that is still holy in this freaking... Okay. I'll wait for you to turn. All that's holy in this ground, 
Don't miss. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because now it gets real. Now it gets real. I only have to defeat him one more time. But, uh... It's not worked so far. Oh, no. Dear, dear Tina. Like I care for him. Uh, Mergazine! Shelter! If there's a chance that Giratina could miss, I'll take it. Otherwise, let's go for a strong Dragon Pulse! Come on, please! Please, 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 please! That's good! That's good! I hate that sound effect! It makes me think of a Pokemon dying. I'm over it. Distortion. Destroy Giratina. Once and for all. You missed. Why did you miss? No. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with this. I am absolutely fed up. So done. Next time, he's going down for real. So done. Ah! Was I a little too loud? I feel like I was a little too loud. I'm done. I'm done with this. You're going down next time, Bolo. You are going down guaranteed. Grit stones. Lots of grit stones. Next time. Done. Friends, fans, fam, we've been through a lot together, haven't we? And I've been through a lot, through both my YouTube channel and through my life. Ups and downs and all kinds of turnarounds, and there have been things that have been so difficult for me to get through. And two of those things was getting out of that horrible apartment I was in and this secret boss fight against Volo. Friends, fans, and fam, it's time to shed the darkness. It is time to finish what I started. I already got that apartment. That's one accomplishment done. But I have nothing better to do today since I'm still trying to get well. So, Yobos, this is we to play the Brenta Bushwicks of YouTube and today, I say today, I will try to finally beat Volo. I've done barely anything to prepare, if you don't count the fact that every single one of my Pokemon is now level 90. But you know what? I rewatched my old footage, and I gotta say, I came closer than I thought I did. So you know what? Here's my strategy for winning. Persistence perseverance and some stupidity Volo I already went through Azel's trial I was stubborn there and I'll be stubborn here you are going down I don't need buffs you are going down so time to put on our big boy hats Shed our coat and get down to business.
I respect the hustle, Volo. But it's time I show you my power. Not saying I'll win, but I think I was spamming this a little too much. So what if I cut down on that? And really just folk Wow, I already defeated Spear Tomb. See? Already feeling good about this. Don't give him too many advantages. That's what I think I need to do. Alright, so... Is it a good idea? You know what? I'll use Lunar Blessing. The Agile style version. Heal a little bit. And shroud myself. So maybe Arcanine won't be able to hit me. I guess I will go Psychic. Cause Stab move. I'm sure that still exists in this game, right? Just because we don't have static, sorry, not status effects. Just so we, just because we don't have, um, natures and status effects and stuff like that. This game plays very differently. And why I do like the idea of bending the rules a bit, in some cases, might not be the call. So every time I give myself an advantage, it's possible Volo could give himself an advantage as well. So we are definitely playing this differently this time. I still have Cresselia. If that doesn't tell you something right here and now, I don't know what to say. Okay, that wasn't super effective, but I got rid of Lucario. He's only got three more Pokemon. I still have six. Maybe five in the moment. I think Psychic will be fine. Yep, 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 yep. I could be doing this all with Cresselia. Except Cresselia is about to faint. That's the only problem. One of the problems. <laughs> Not the only problem. Well, I'm going to try Lunar Blessing. I do have Shadow Ball. Is that going to be enough? Feels like I'm just kind of... prolonging the inevitable. May have been a bad idea just to switch out Pokemon. You know what? I'm stubborn. I'm gonna use that stubbornness to a T. Yeah, that didn't do quite what I wanted. Hmm. I guess I'll just use Psychic. Ooh, so close. But now, yep, Lolo's gonna use Full Restore. Saw that one coming. Alright, use Psychic again. Night is coming. Giratina's on his way. Lunar Blessing. Especially since the moon's about to come out. Might help. Psychic again. Perfect. Oh, I can't do it like that. Okay, let's see if this will work. I'll use Agile 
Moonblast. And hopefully that will give me another attack. I'm hoping. Otherwise, Velo's just using Game Shark at this point. Okay, cool. Cool. No one likes Game Shark. Nintendo took down my Miiverse post because I even mentioned it. Grr. Not above the law either, Volo. Whatever, I'm feeling... I'm feeling better about this. I'm feeling way better about this. Didn't lose a single Pokemon. Let's go! Granted, everyone's at level 90, so I've got much more of a buff, but... The last time I, uh... Tried to use said buff, it didn't end well. But now, I'm playing a little bit more strategically. I didn't put any grit dust. Not a single bit of grit dust on anyone except maybe my Typhlosion. And that was just when I was experimenting. So if I can beat Giratina two times, that will be it. Here we go. One more look at this BA cutscene. Strike her down! Never let her get up ever again! See about that, Volo, buddy. Oh, pal. You're a bad influence. You've been ignoring your job. Not only are you going to get defeated, you're going to get fired. How you like that? Of course. But guess what? I'm still prepared. More or less. We are going to go with Mercazine. My top. Dog Pokemon, my Alpha, my Clutch, the GOAT of this entire playthrough. So I hope you're ready. Dang it. Alright, come on. No, 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 no. Stand firm, Merkazine, stand firm. Mmm, go stand firm a little harder than that. I guess we'll do Dragon Pulse. Alright, that hit. Halfway done. Can we get that last Dragon Pulse off? Yes! Good job, Mercazine! Till Bolo. Save the little HP. Until then. You know what? I'm still not worried. I'm still not worried. That much. Maybe a little worried. Uh, tell you what. I'll go with Topaz for now. The promise is maybe some kind of strategy. Maybe. Hmm. Horsepower? I missed, dang it. Dang it. Alright, gear chance using agile style. Same thing, he just. I just tried to use on that. Except it's earth power. But still. Same blasted thing. Okay, gear chance no longer obscure. Mmm. Distortion. Let's go. You just need to get one lousy hit on him. Just one. I'd like it to be Spatial Vin, but I don't think it needs to be Spatial Vin. Let me check something. Okay, wow. Well. Also, that has... I'll go for it. It would be nice to use a move that would give my Pokemon a buff. Guess what? 
We ain't done. Now the true tear comes out. This is where mice become men. Where they crawl right back into the hole. Let's see what we can do. Yes! Agile style spatial vent! Woo! That did so much! Hmm. Do you know what? I still don't have any max for vibes, do I? Wow, I have learned nothing. I've been playing this game forever and I've learned nothing. But whatever. Merkazine, we're giving you a second chance. But not before Flair gets one. Come on. Do it for your ancestor, who may or may not have something to do with the current present right now. Use Infernal Flame Parade! Okay, Giratina's is burned. That means his attacks got to be weaker. And he should be receiving extra damage. Is that it? That's it? That is it? I made such a big deal out of this. You finally beat Giratina, ain't that right? Finally! Finally! Maybe. Don't, don't tell me there's a third phase. Please don't. <clears throat> Alright, voice acting. Turning tail and running from this puny human? Pathetic! I was the one to feed you the power you needed so that you could take on Arceus! I was the one who gave you the chance to claw open that space-time rift, driving the deity of space and deity of time mad so that you could drag the creator out from hiding! How? How could this happen? Almighty Arceus, if you have any heart within you, then tell me. The blood of the ancient Sinnoh people flow in my veins, does it not? What is it, then, that you find so lacking in me? Maybe heart? Do you mean to tell me that this world doesn't need to be remade? Yeah, I could have said that to Cyrus as well. I can't live with such questions. I can't bear not satisfying this eight to know. Answer me, then, Brandon. Do you have some dream that propels you, as I've had? I do! To live in harmony with Pokemon! Yay! So you do. Doubtless that dream of yours would never leave room for the dreams of one like me. I am the great wielder of Pokemon, and you, you bow alongside your Pokemon, and you make all these dumb jokes. I even overheard you said you were the master of Mew! What makes you so special? What? In the inn, I was alone, but not you. You will fight together with your Pokemon to seize whatever dreams you have. You are darn right. Here, take it. Take the plate that started me on this path. The plate I once received from Giratina. My journey is over. My story ended when I lost to you. Are you gonna go back to being a good merchant? And not a crazy psychopath? The spooky plate! You know, just just below the dread plate. Still, the Cresselia thing still f holds dread within me, so... Spooky plate! A stone tablet imbued with the essence of ghost. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the ghost type. Gee, I wonder what Pokemon that could possibly be. Seeking the remaining plates complete. 
I suppose now you've got all of the plates said to exist in this land of Izui. Oh. Oh, that's new. Did I put my face up for this one? Woo! The Celestica flute transform into the Azure flute. Magic. My hat's right here, by the way. So that's... That's it. The Azure flute. <laughs> it comes to you. Don't you dare try to grab it from my hands. So Arceus wishes to meet you. Of all people, you had to be the one. Is that why you were brought to this world? Then to defeat crazy lunatics like you. Gah! I've no desire to watch from the sidelines as Arceus comes to you. And I absolutely cannot accept a world in which you would ever manage to defeat Arceus. Someday, I'll solve every will in the legends of the Hizui Pokemon. And on that day, I'll stand before Arceus at last. No, I will conquer it! No matter how many years, how many decades, how many centuries it takes me. Uh, you can't, tigers can't change their stripes. Yeah, I feel bad for him too, Brandon. But the deed is finally done. Peace has been restored. And all is right with the world. Except now there's a new mission. The Defied Pokemon. Seek out all the Pokemon there are to meet. Then play your flute upon the dais of the Temple of Sinnoh. Look right here. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I know I don't have every Pokemon. Heck, we can just look through the list right here and now. Just to prove a point. I have seen 230, caught 224. That alone already just kind of tells you all you need to know. I'm not sure I need to show every single Pokemon. I don't know if there's a way to just show them right off the bat. But number one's Rowlet. And yeah, like I said, not every single Pokemon, including Giratina somehow. Well, where am I supposed to meet Giratina then? How am I supposed to catch my own? I'm sure Volo would absolutely be seething with rage if I came to do that, but I don't care. I love how all the statues of these special noble Pokemon are just gone. They just disappeared from history. No one knows about them because of Volo's antics and the great Sinnoh, one of the two, depends on which one you end up fighting. But either origin form Dialga or origin form Palkia, almost said Giratina, destroys the beautiful temple, turning it into Spear Pillar. Only those that have seen whatever hidden books there are can, uh, you know what? Forget all this talk. Flare, you are our hero. I did not even have to worry about using my two legendary Pokemon. You two are the heroes of this story. Congrats. Let me see if I can get Gudra closer. Perfect. Alright, good job. Looks like my type was gonna go to sleep anyways. Your legend will be wrote down in history, and only those truly worthy 
will learn about it. And who knows, maybe a certain someone may even be able to carry on the legend for themselves. But enough about me. Back to this game! Oh! Mmm! Mmm! I felt that! Heard it too. That, that sounded way too painful. Okay, let's leave. That was good. <laughs> oh, that's in Gosman, guys! Oh no, that's not what I meant to do. Cool. Well, I don't know where Giratina would be. That part sucks. Do you know what? Let's return to the village and see if there is any more light on the subject. Get it? Light? Because I turned on the lamp next to me? Isn't it good to see my face? Oh, we do have something going on. Brandon! Hey, Brandon! Have you heard? There have been reports that a huge shower appeared in the Cobalt Coastlands. That... really? The... Beach? Giratina hit the beach? Never would have thought. He then just vanished without trace. Brandon, my girl, you must tell me. You went to the Temple of Sinnoh with Volo, correct? What exactly happened? Oh, a lot. A very amount of a lot. You will never look at the same merchant ever again. I see. In that case, the shower in the Cobalt Coastlands may be none other than Giratina, the Pokemon said to have once banished to the Revere side of the world. Reverse. It says reverse. Why does it not say reverse? Hmm. <clears throat> I do believe this calls for a survey. The Cobalt Coastlands are pretty vast. I hope you have some idea where to look. Not a clue, but you know what? That's not going to stop me. But first, I kind of need to heal. Let me switch my camera again. You know, I thought this episode would end after I finally, finally, finally defeat Volo. But of course I can't let it be that simple. Why would I ever? Also, it might make more sense to look for Giratina at night. So, uh, let's try this. Problem is, now my Pokemon is so overpowered, I might defeat Giratina by accident. Hey, I defeated Volo. I got done with that mission. She's still trying to pose for some art picture, I don't know. Hold up. Oh, wow. That's seriously going on in the coastlands? Cool. Such good timing, too. Alright, well, let's go find a massive mass outbreak and freaking Garatina. It's gonna be fun, guys. It's gonna be real fun. Let's put the hat back on. We're not done yet. Alright, well, let's see what we got. I'm not... It's pretty... There's a good chance Giratina could be at Deadwood Haunt. There's a very big possibility I'm not going to be able to see that many massive mass outbreaks. But that's not why I originally came here. Now, is it? Okay... Next, we're just going to do a flyby wherever possible. This one's high up in the mountains, isn't it? Oh, I hope it's Hazuian Growlithe. That's not Hazuian Growlithe. Ooh, those are pip-ups. 
tempting, but like I said, I'm kind of on a mission. And I've done so many things for my Pokedex, I just don't know what I should or shouldn't do. I'd have to scan the Pokemon first to be able to see for sure whether or not it's a Pokemon worth pursuing. Oh, let me get Onyx. Cool. Well, I guess we're headed to the scary ghost ship. Because, hey, if Giratina is going to show up anywhere, it might as well be there. Gosh dang it. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Not gonna think about it. Just gonna go. Nice not to attract any other Pokemon. Cool. That is a Dusclops. Not quite Giratina. Hmm. It's possible it might be like around here. Hello, who are you? Oh, you're here! I've been waiting! Oh dear, it's here again! We came here to set up a base camp, which I apparently haven't done yet. But then he went off on its own to get a lay of the land, and hasn't come back! Your rich ought to be still somewhere nearby, hopefully not near some big scary Pokemon. But if you find him, please tell him to come back here already. Okay, cool. I knew there was a place for a base camp. I knew it. But I kept missing it. Ah, I didn't, I didn't find it correctly. Speaking of not finding things correctly. I'm not sure if we're going to find a Giratina. Which might mean this is a waste of an episode. But you know what? Not giving up. Persistence, perseverance, stupidity. Let's keep looking. All I need to do is probably find an area where I need to investigate. It's a needle in the haystack moment. And I may have to clear out some Pokemon just to make it happen. But... What Pokemon sees me, by the way? Oh. Ow! Okay, well, I guess I'm going in the water then. I'm sure Giratina is somewhere down here. That'd make perfect sense, wouldn't it? Tell me how I'm wrong in the comments. I just immediately assume that a place that ghost type Pokemon is where a Giratina would be. I mean, I couldn't. I wouldn't necessarily be wrong in that assumption, right? I mean, I could be wrong, but... I've made stupider assumptions before. Is it about to turn daylight? I hope it's not because of the silly storm. What if that was the case? What if Giratina's just not showing up because of the massive mass outbreaks? That'd be pretty stupid, don't you think? Uh-oh. -uh. Be pretty stupid. Try somewhere else. I don't know where exactly, but somewhere else. Who knows? Maybe this is something I'm gonna have to look up. Hmm. There is one other location. Beats just guessing. Oh, you know what? Let's 
make the long, long climb up. You might be at the gravestone of the previous noble Pokemon. Let's see. Here rests the spirit of the Lord of the Isles, the great and noble Arcanine. What, you tell me it's not here either? I guess we could try the volcano? I don't know. Hmm. So now I'm second guessing myself. There may be another, another area that I just haven't considered, but I'm down here anyways. Might as well check. Just because this is taking place for... Just... Let me try this one more time. Just because this is a location that has taken place for several different important Pokemon doesn't mean that there couldn't possibly be a Giratina here too, right? Like in this cave where Heatran was? Maybe? Shows no signs of stopping, by the way. Well, guess not. Alright, well, I've got one more idea. I just need to be able to get there in time. If that's actually a concern. Could be, to some people. By the way, I learned that even if you're in the air, you cannot fly past lava tiles. So even if you're above lava tiles, you cannot get past them. So, have fun with that. I don't think Giratina is just going to be a Pokemon that shows up in the wild. I feel like it's going to be like Darkrai, where you have to find the exact location and investigate in that exact location. But even though I am having a hard time remembering for sure if I have bought anything in this cave or not, there is one more location that I am more than willing to try out. And I think it's right here. So come on, Braviary. Maybe Sneasler. Let's see. Or Garatina is right here. No, I'm not saying things up. I really don't know where Giratina is. I think I won. Yep. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. He looks happy. <laughs> I'm just assuming things stupidly. Well, Coda, in case you didn't know, now hopefully you know. Can we just not battle? Can we just accept each other genuinely? And they got the music playing again. Nice. Alright, this is going to be a little more tricky because he's level 70 and I'm level 90. That's not good. We can't overdo it, so let's try Agile Style Flamethrower. Well, the good news is I didn't overdo it. <laughs> Keep gear, Tina, what are you doing? It's a little embarrassing. Alright, let's try Merkazine. Please, no more with that flatlining sound. I don't like that. It's giving me anxiety attack of when I first lost to this thing. And then the second time, and then the third time, and so on and so forth. Alright, Merkazine. Shield yourself. 
If we can't hit you, then we are winning. On your head, Agile. That's fine. Let's go for regular. Or not. Good job. Hold firm, Merkazine. Hold firm like the tank you are. Oh, hold that boss. Are you gonna be okay? No, no, no. Okay, well, that could be a problem. <laughs> Do I really want to try Topaz again? Nope, nope, I'll just go with Cresselia. You know Darkrai, but... I think we can still make something happen here. I'm doing it so Cresselia can be obscure. I might want to just start checking things. Like, legit. Alright, let's just do this. Go, Ultra Ball! Okay. That's it. We're done! Giratina was caught. Another legendary down. Found something shiny where Giratina was. The Grecious Orb. Gris I can't pronounce that. But when used on Giratina, this large glowing gem wells with power and allows the Pokemon to change form. Report back to Lavington to share what you've learned. Gladly. How long have you been recording? Almost four minutes. Now nah, it's been over four minutes. So Giratina was here the whole time. I don't know. I don't think I would have figured that out. There's still another legendary I have yet to see. There's several. But there's one in particular. One I wish I had never knew the existence of, but... Twitter ruins everything. The internet ruins everything. And despite whatever thoughts I have of this legendary... Um, I just want to be able to see it for myself? But we might be a far cry from that. Here we go! Lovington, I got some good news for you. Volo eventually returned and told me more about what happened at the Temple of Sinnoh. He said to Giratina that it chose to protect the land of Hizui after discovering it was no match for you. What? Uh, did I read that wrong? He said he would, he should study it and add to the Pokedex, or that we should study it. I'm not giving it that to him. He wandered off after that, saying this was probably the last time we would meet, but I can't help but feel he's far more invested in our completion of the Pokedex then he would have us know. Oh good, he's going to show up when I get done seeking all Pokemon, right? Can't wait for that sudden twist. That and misfortune somehow being a part of all of this. But Trail of Garatina, complete. Gagrit Rock, not much of a reward, but I already caught Giratina, so that's more than enough of a reward. Sorry, I forgot to change the camera. The OBS thing. You made new observations. Let's have a look. Most intriguing. Giratina loses its legs upon changing into this form. I believe this Pokemon must hail from a world where the heavens and the earth are as one. So I have no way of proving it. Love that I've already got Pokedex description for him, and I... Okay, hold up. Let me just make sure this isn't the guy. You know Glimmeow? One of those scariest Pokemon? Gets one like that. 
Or maybe I'll talk to you. That's not what he said. Okay, so I still need to figure out where that one person is so I can set up base camp. But that's not important right now. I'm just happy I beat Volo. Okay? That's all I'm happy about. Sure, we're gonna miss him in his special little generic outfit. But he was an interesting character. He started to follow the Cyrus plotline a little too hard, but... Oh, and then there's you, who I also suspected to be unlawfully bad. I've just been told of the foul plan Volo had conducted. Well, think no more of that scoundrel. Just another tale of passion burning too bright and consuming its bearer. That is what happens if you allow it to. I have a feeling you still miss him, though. But what of you? Are you making progress with your... What do you call your studies of Pokemon? Surveying, was it? Yeah, it's going alright. Indeed? Well, his Zooey still holds more fascinating Pokemon. Shall I speak to you of one of them? Which Pokemon would you like to hear about? All of them. But you know what? Let's go with Landorus, since that's the harder to find. What? <laughs> no! No! What is that view? No! No! We can't! We can't look at that! No! No, 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 no. We're, we're, we're done. No. No, no, no. No. I, I won't permit that. I won't permit that. Oh, gosh. I wasn't... Oh... Oh, I wasn't ready for that. Ah, uh, yes, Landorus, the Pokemon hailed as the guardian of fields. It seems it can be glimpsed... <laughs> I'm still seeing it. In the Obsidian Fieldlands. Perhaps you'd be so good to catch it for me? Ah, uh, there we go. Shall I speak to you of one of them? Which Pokemon would you hear about? Tornadus? Okay, thank goodness the camera's good this time. Tornadus, in every direction it flies, stirring up tremendous storms as it goes. So just look for a storm. That's easy. When a blizzard batters the Alabaster Icelands, Tornadus may be about. And Thunderous. Now Thunderous, as it flies around, it flies bolts of lightning every which way. When a rainstorm lashes the Cobalt Coastlands, Thunderous may be around. Why are there so many Pokemon at Cobalt Coastlands? Like, for real. Well, I'm done. Certainly not a force one I'm trying to hear about. <coughs> Coilers! I know not why these three have chosen to show themselves. Perhaps because it lies. Sorry, I'm checking the camera. Uh, themselves. That's not what it said. Perhaps because lies with the space-time rift. Or simply with their own whims. I suppose their stirring up storms and casting bolts of lightning may trouble you aplenty. But nature has need of such things. You know, as long as I don't get hit by a bolt of lightning suddenly, like a certain game, I think I'll be okay. So if you wish to know more, you best study the Pokemon for yourself. When you've completed entries in your Pokédex for Landris, Tornadus, and Thunderous, come and speak to me. Community question, do you want to watch me do that? That's all I gotta say, that's a community question, that's the only question you need to know. Cause I have done so much with this darn Pokédex of mine. There's still more to go, but I'm pretty happy with all the work I put in. But there's still a little bit more work to go until I have seeked all Pokemon and until I can get my audience with the great Arceus itself. Till then, 
This is pretty much gonna solidify the end of the series. If there's another video, it's going to be when I encounter Arceus. Otherwise, all other videos will be down in the link below. If I don't put up the link, bug me. Just tell me I didn't post the link and I'll do it. I promise. But that goes to my W2P Extra channel where I play all the post-game stuff. Here's the thing. I wanted to write out the post game for Pokemon Legends Arceus as something that wasn't that important, but I think it's an integral part of the main game. Even though it's post game, I think it connects to the story too much for me not to include it. So I'm gonna just keep that on my Wii to Play channel. Granted, the video where I go after all the legendaries and get all the plates, that probably has to be moved, but there'll be a link to that, and I have talked too much. I've done what I sought out to do, and I am glad that I have got it done. More legends await for Brandon in the Hazui region, and for you viewers watching. Until then, and until my next videos, this has been We The Play, and I hope you enjoy your day. Take care out there, and I will catch ya later. Yo, boos! This is We The Play, the Brenton Bushworks of YouTube. I'm gonna do something a little bit different for this in segment. I am accompanied by Blitz. Yay, Blitz. It's been a while since we've seen him. So, I have here Shining Fates cards for them. Because I did not record an episode yesterday of me opening two of them. So, I'm going to be opening four of them today. But, in honor of Legends Arceus, where things are a little bit more natural, I'm going to be doing it outside. So I'm going to set the camera up. Blitzy's going to stay on the table, so unfortunately you won't see him. I'm going to be opening four different packs of Pokemon Legends Arceus. I don't know if I'm going to add like any soft music to go with this, but I decided to do something a teeny bit different. So, we start off with the code card, then take one, two, three cards from the back, put them in the front, and that will guarantee us a reverse hollow, or if we're lucky, a shiny, and then there'll be a rare at the very end, as well as an energy card. So we got Ball Guy. We have Tropius, Rusted Shield, Weasel, Shinx, Coughing, Trap Inch, Rallet. <laughs> nice. So we have a shiny Yaw Mask. I'm trying to trying to move this in a way where you can see the card really nicely, but shiny Yaw Mask, so that's nice. Galarian Yaw Mask. And we have Volcanion as the rare card. By the way, I have some other cards that are inside. I just forgot to bring them out. Last time, I got a VMAX Ditto, my third one. So, <laughs> that's great. Here we go, another card pack. Two out of four. Try to get through this as quickly as I can. Because the sun is beaming on me and it's a little too hot for my liking. We got Thwacky, Gym Trainer, Cramorant, Weasel, Rallet, Trap Inch, Snom, Grookie, Rillaboom is going to be the reverse and the rare is going to be... <laughs> Rillaboom Hollow. So two different Rillabooms. Nice. Okay, third pack. Two 
still looking for that Charizard. Not sure if I got good odds of finding it. Apparently I got good odds of finding Ditto. Never asked for that. Okay, for the third pack we've got Floatzel, Rusted Sword, Trainer Card, Luxio, Cacnea, Glossifler, Snom, Trapinch, Nicket. Shiny Didene is going to be in this pack. Very cool. So, I don't know how many shiny Pokemon that is, but I think I've met my quota. The rare is going to be Manaphy. Alright. That leaves just one more pack left. Can I get a full art card? Let's find out. Whoops. Gonna show the app. That was an accident. So for the final card pack this week, we have Rusted Shield, Rotom, Rusted Shield again, Buizel, Coughing, Shinx, Rookie, Trap Inch, Voli Coley. That's another shiny Pokemon. And I know I don't have this one. That is awesome. So we got shiny Voli Coley. One of the papers dropped because wind. And the last card is going to be. Ooh, there we go. Delmise V card. And that's it. That is all the card packs. All the shiny fates I have outside of my backpack, which I need to look for. These are the star cards today. Delmise being the full art. Uh, if I had to pick one shiny. Oof, that's hard to pick. I kind of like both. I kind of like both. Sorry for that cop out, but. Whew, that is gonna be it. I am selling into my apartment. I want to make an update video showcasing the moving process from my old apartment to my new apartment. Just know I am very happy. I'm still trying to get things situated. I'm falling on bad habits that I need to kind of correct myself with. But just know that you will be getting more YouTube content from me and more varied YouTube content from me. I'm just kind of trying to find my footing and just kind of get out of my negative headspace that I've been in for a long time. But I want to thank you all for watching and supporting my content. Let me know, community question, let me know what Pokemon projects you would like me to continue or finish or start, technically. There is a bee buzzing around here, so I need to cut this short. So, this has been We to Play. I got nothing left to say, so I hope you enjoy your day. Take care out there, and I will catch you later.